a guide for parents with babies in neonatal units, taking care of yourself during COVID-19. We know this is a very difficult time. Restrictions may be in place to protect your loved one, the staff who are caring for them, and yourself, which might mean that you cannot visit them in hospital or spend as much time visiting them as you want. This, understandably, impacts your mental health. We asked clinical psychologists and other experts who are used to working with families in difficult situations for their strategies to help us cope. Tip one, connect with your baby in other ways. Although you may not be able to hold your baby when visiting the unit, there are other ways that you can connect. Talking, reading, or singing to your baby. Your presence and voice are powerful. Engaging in these activities can help settle your baby's heart rate and breathing, help support their brain development, and can be calming for you too. Containment holding. If allowed, this is a great way of providing a nurturing touch for your baby. It can help your baby to feel enclosed and secure and help calm them when they are upset. Caring for your baby. Your baby's nurse will be able to guide and support you here and their suggestions might include changing nappies or supporting with feeding your baby. Tip two, stay connected to others. Reach out to friends and family in other ways when you can. Being connected to others has a significant positive impact on our ability to manage very difficult situations. But it's also important to make sure you don't get overwhelmed. Schedule times when you speak with others or update family and friends. Tip three, take care of yourself. It's important to consider your individual needs at this time because you are important. You can't be there to help or support others, including your baby, if you're not looking after your own well-being. One, try to eat and drink regularly. Two, create a bedtime routine to help with sleep. Scheduling in time to relax before bed when possible or setting times when you need to be awake at night if necessary. Three, schedule time to do something you enjoy or find relaxing. For example, having a bath, watching your favorite box set, coloring or painting, or writing in a journal. This can sometimes feel difficult to do, but is important for your own well-being. It's also important to do what works best for you and to avoid feeling guilty about spending time on yourself. Tip four, focus on the things you do have some control over. What are you able to do for your baby? Focusing on the things you have control over will allow you to feel more involved. What do you have control over in other areas of your life? This will feel more difficult with the current restrictions, but identifying things you have control over in your home life can also help. Make a plan for how to spend each day. This could include how and when you'll be involved in caring for your baby and when you will do something which focuses on your own self-care. Tip five, stay connected to the present. It's completely understandable that you may be worried at the moment, but worrying can take you away from the present. Try to bring yourself back to the present by focusing on your breathing or grounding yourself. For example, by putting your feet on the floor and noticing what that feels like. You can also practice mindfulness with your baby. Being present with your baby and spending time bonding together can be a great way to stay connected to the present. You could try noticing their expression in person or over video and really focus in on them moment to moment. This can be particularly useful when you're not able to be with them or you cannot hold them in the way you would like. These are just a few suggestions that may help you during this difficult time. Stay healthy 